One of the things we want to notice on this slide is a bar chart. And you will see a bar chart in the quiz. And notice on the vertical we have the categories. On the horizontal we have the series. Okay, one of the things I want you to pay attention to, notice the bars. Gray bar is longer, this bar, the hard one, is shorter, and this one is longer than the orange and shorter than this. You need to pay attention to these bars. They will give you uh, insight on what you're trying to understand or see. Like right? the one you see in Philadelphia, which one is the uh, most unemployed, the women or the men. So you have to look at the bar and see which one is the tallest, which one is the shortest, is it the men or is it the women. And this can really help you to make the right decision. I just wanted to point that out to you. Okay. confusing, but it does not have to be. One of the things you always want to know is that you're vertical, you have your numbers. And then on the horizontal, it gives you a description of what is happening. So you've got four categories. All right. Blue series. This is the blue series. Look and see what is happening there. Okay, the orange series. Look how they even uh, cross over and then go up, come back down, understand what that is. And uh, then on the horizontal, on this uh, light gray line, third series, uh, it, 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 it tells us something else. So we want to be able to look at the um, graph, see what it's telling us, look at the information, and um, be able to respond to the questions and know what it is saying and what it is not saying. You should have a, a, a title. We just put chart title. But the title will tell us what kind of information. Dr. Z. I thought it would be a good idea if we kind of review analyzing graphs and charts on week four, page three. This will kind of give you ups on how to read the chart or the graph and what decisions to make and how to uh, respond to the quiz. As it's saying, analyzing information for graphs and charts. It is, information is often easier to understand when it's presented visually. Pictures, graphics, and color. In many reports, graphics and charts are used to illustrate large amounts of information or data. And to support the idea and opinions, that the author are presenting based on the data from the research. Okay, we're going to look at reading graphs and charts. In this lesson, you will read graphs and charts published by the Philadelphia Works Incorporated, our local workforce development board that presents information about jobs and the economy in our city. Now before you take the quiz, here are some tips on how to read 
graphs and charts. Number one, start with the title. The title always gives you the main idea of the graph or chart. In the graph below, the title is shown with a red arrow. See this going right here? Job openings versus unemployed individuals in Philadelphia County. The main idea of this graph is to compare the number of jobs that are available with the number of unemployed people in Philadelphia County. And the abbreviation VS, which is right here, and this title stands for the Latin word versus, which means compared to or against. And you will notice uh, it's unemployed individuals, that color, and then number of job openings, blue. So this here would be the job openings. It's right here. This here would be the unemployed And then this is called the vertical axis, and when it goes this way, it's the horizontal axis. Generally, the vertical is going to give you numbers going up this way. Here is many things, but here it's giving you dates. So you learn to look at the dates. On the vertical, on the horizontal axis. It says, what happened to the number of unemployed people when the number of job openings go down over time? What happened to the number of unemployed people when the number of jobs goes up? So you have to look at the job goes down. You can see that the number of unemployed people goes up when the number of jobs openings open up unemployment goes down somewhat not totally it says next look at the title number two look at the key the key tells us who what different colors and symbols in the chart graph means. In this graph, the red line shows the number of unemployed people right here. And the blue line shows the number of available jobs. This is the number for unemployed people, which is this one right here. And the blue is the number of jobs. Okay, look at vertical axis, and remember, say that the vertical axis goes, goes straight up this way. So we can see it starts at zero and it goes up to 80,000. All right. And the information on the left, from the bottom to the top of the graph and horizontal, vertical axis goes up this way and the horizontal goes this way. It is important to, stand, to understand what the numbers represent, but also if they are increasing and decreasing and by how much. In this graph, the vertical axis down to up shows numbers and in increments or increases of 20,000. 20, 40, 68. Both the numbers of the unemployed individuals and the number of the old openings are plotted by these numbers. The horizontal axis, which is going on across this way, shows different months and years over time. From May of 2007 through July of 2013. The chart as a whole is showing the relationship between unemployment and available jobs over time from 2000 
Okay, here we see the numbers. Here on the vertical axis we see the dates. Okay, analyzing graphs and charts. This is important for you to read and understand. I'm just going over it. I thought maybe if we go over it, you'll understand it better and you, you will be able to respond or recall and do well on the uh, quiz. Of course, you will also have to do a post quiz for how well you did in the uh, course. To analyze the information in the graph or chart, it helps to make observations about what you see. Here are some observations about the graph shown above. The graph shows in information collected between 2007, 2007 and 2013. At first, in 2007, the number of job openings, blue line, was higher than the number of unemployed individuals, red line. In 2008, the number of job opening blue line dropped below the number of unemployed individuals, red line. From 2009 to 2011, the number of job openings blue line was at its lowest, around 10,000. So it's important for you to notice the difference, the change, what is happening. And notice the dates. Okay, that's going to help you to uh, make make a decision on what the graphs and charts are, 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 are teaching. Okay, or showing, or what the research shows. So, okay, analyzing. This is how you analyze. Right in here. Be sure. Be sure to read that. Um, what does this graph tell you? Something happened in 2008 to make the number of jobs go down and the number of unemployed individuals go up. And sometimes uh, when you write in the discussion, some of you identify that already without having looked at the, uh, the data, but it's good that you can look at the data and you can prove what you're saying from uh, the facts in the research. The, the job and employments have been improving since 2011. At the end of 2013, there were still more people looking for work than there were jobs available. That creates a problem for unemployment. But you can see, you can understand, and then you can intelligently discuss it. What doesn't this graph tell us? It doesn't tell us what kind of jobs are available. Anything about the individuals who were employed, for example, where they live, what kind of education, training they have, and what was the what caused these numbers to move up and down. So that's another form of research that would need to be done to help you to understand. But for what you have, uh, this is how you're going to look at the data. And when you take the quiz, be sure to look at what is happening and those charts and those graphics. Again, this is Dr. G. Bye.